Good morning, everyone. Today at Learn to Shine, we're going to read Mog the Forgetful Cat. Now, I have a cat. In fact, I have two cats, Charlie and Lola. This is Lola. Lola likes to spend a lot of time on our pupils' laps. And she is very forgetful as well. So this is a story for you as well, Lola. Mog the Forgetful Cat. This is by Judith Kerr. So on this page, who have we got? We've got Mr. Thomas. Can you read them out with me? Mr. Thomas, Debbie, Mrs. Thomas, Nikki, and Mog. Once there was a cat called Mog, and she lived with a family called Thomas. Mog was nice, but not very clever. She didn't understand a lot of things. A lot of other things she forgot. She was a very forgetful cat. Sometimes she ate her supper. Then she forgot she'd eaten it. Sometimes she thought of something in the middle of washing her leg. Then she forgot to wash the rest of it. Once she forgot that cats can't fly. Should we all have a go at washing ourselves like a cat? So let's put our lick our hands and rub them over our head. Just like a cat. But most of all, she forgot her cat flap. The cat flap led from the kitchen into the garden. Mog could go out and in again. It was her own little door. The garden always made Mog very excited. She smelled all the smells. She chased the birds. She climbed the trees. She ran around and around with a big fluffed up tail. And then she forgot the cat flap. She forgot that she had a cat flap. She wanted to go back into the house, but she couldn't remember how. In the end, she sat outside the kitchen window and meowed until someone let her in, like this. Meow. Afterwards, you could always tell where she had sat. This made Mr. Thomas very sad. He said, bother that cat. <laughs> but Debbie said, she's nice. Once, Mog had a very bad day. Even the start of the day was bad. Mog was still asleep. Then Nicky picked her up. He hugged her and said, nice kitty. Mog said nothing, but she was not happy. Then it was breakfast time. Mog forgot that cats have milk for breakfast. She forgot that cats only have eggs as a treat. She ate an egg for her breakfast. Mrs Thomas said, Bother that cat! Debbie said, Nicky doesn't like eggs anyway. Mog looked through her cat flap. It was raining in the garden. Mog thought, Perhaps the sun is shining in the street. When the milkman came, she ran out. The milkman shut the door. The sun was not shining in the street after all. It was raining. A big dog came down the street. Mog ran. The dog ran too. Mog ran right round the house and the dog ran after her. She climbed over a fence. She ran through the garden and jumped up outside the kitchen window. She meowed a big meow. Very sudden and very loud. Should we do that? <coughs> Mrs Thomas said, Bother that cat! Debbie said, It wasn't her fault. Mog was very sleepy. She found a nice, warm, soft place and went to sleep. She had a lovely dream. Mog dreamed that she had wings. She could fly everywhere. She could fly faster than the birds, even quite big birds. Suddenly, she woke up. Mm -mm. Mrs Thomas said, Bother that cat! Debbie said, I think you look nicer without a hat. Debbie gave Mog her supper, and Mog ate it all up. Then Debbie and Nicky went to bed. Mog had a rest too. 
but Mr Thomas wanted to see the fight. Mr Thomas said, Bother that cat! Mog thought, Nobody likes me. Then she thought, Debbie likes me. Debbie's door was open. Debbie's bed was warm. Debbie's hair was soft like kitten fur. Mog forgot that Debbie was not a kitten. <coughs> Debbie had a dream. It was a bad dream. It was a dream about a tiger. The tiger wanted to eat Debbie. It was licking her hair. Debbie shouted. Mog jumped. Mr and Mrs Thomas said, Bother, bother, bother that cat. Debbie said nothing. She was still crying because of the bad dream. Mog ran out of the room, right through the house and out of her cat flat. She was very sad. The garden was dark. The house was dark too. Mog sat in the dark and thought dark thoughts. She thought, Nobody likes me. They've all gone to bed. There's no one to let me in. And they haven't even given me my supper. Then she noticed something. The house was not quite dark. There was a little light moving about. She looked through the window and saw a man in the kitchen. Mog thought, Perhaps that man will let me in. Perhaps he will give me my supper. She meowed her loudest meow, very sudden and very, very loud. The man was surprised. He dropped his bag. It made a big noise and everyone in the house woke up. Mr Thomas ran down into the kitchen and shouted, A burglar! The burglar said, Bother that cat! Mrs Thomas telephoned the police. Debbie let Mog in and Nicky hugged her. A policeman came and they told him what had happened. The policeman looked at Mog. He said, what a remarkable cat. I've seen watch dogs, but never a watch cat. She will get a medal. Debbie said, I think she'd rather have an egg. Mog had a medal. She also had an egg every day for breakfast. Mr and Mrs Thomas told all their friends about her. They said, Mog is really remarkable. And they never, or almost never said, Bother that cat. There we go, I love that one. And Lola is still listening. Well done, Lola. So, hope you liked that. And we'll be back again tomorrow for another story. Have a lovely day. Bye.